I am Michelle Thompson, and I'm playing the role of Belle. Stephen had a more collaborative process, I think, than he's had in the past. One of the prompts that Stephen gave us uh, was actually a writing assignment, and we were told to write in very simple language, just directions. Everyone came up with these like really awesome phrases, and then what Stephen likes to do is take that creativity that each person has you know, brought to the floor, and then mold it and manipulate it, and then sort of pull out the things that he likes, and it just makes for a really fun exercise and really challenges your creativity. And it also helps Stephen see his dancers in a different light, because maybe they would choose to move differently um, if they were kind of given that freedom. He took all of the material that we made and he has videos of all of it. He kind of studied them and figured out, okay, I want this for Belle and the Beast, I want this for the dark figures, I want this for the horses, and he started to file them in the places that he wanted them. It's been really awesome to see how something really simple can be changed up just a little bit and suddenly it's romantic or it's terrifying. Just by changing the quality, you know, staccato or more adagio, or just changing where your eyes are. If you do a step and you look at your partner versus, you know, looking off into space, it's going to really change the connection. I think the, the part that's been kind of the most intriguing to start to examine is the relationship between Belle and the Beast. You know, someone who's showing some sort of marking on the outside of their body is very common, but I think everyone is marked in some way, whether it's something in their past or something physical or something that they carry with themselves. When Belle sees the Beast, I think that there's, there's part of her that she sees in him. You might call it an animal aspect, you might call it a different facet of her personality. I also love that in the end she, she chooses to be with, with him, with the beast. She falls in love with him. And I think that that's the reality in life, you know, you don't have these fairy tale combinations of two perfect people coming together. I think everyone finds someone and they might have a mark and, and you learn to love everything about that mark, whether it's on the outside or the inside. Deep down, she just, she knows she has to be with him, that she loves him. Mm -hmm.